Hey everybody, what's up? This is your girl Carmen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell for notifications to be notified when I put up new posts. Also, if you are my subscriber, hey friend, how you doing? Thank you so much for your support. Um, so today, for my weekly check-in, I wanted to, to come here and uh, talk about something that has been on my mind really for like the last couple of months but even more so now it's been something that's been constantly kind of cycling through my thoughts and that I would share um, right now a lot of us are feeling anger we're feeling sadness confusion all of these emotions all at the same time and um, I want to start off by saying that those emotions those feelings are valid your emotions are valid your protest is valid your voice is valid hell your writing is valid period okay um and we live in a world where our governments where media social media including people that are marching alongside of us are being strategic to try to invalidate that and a tough go but be vigilant about what it is that you do and make sure that you keep on raising your voice um, a lot of us uh, were brought up in a society that put like the carrot before the horse told us to chase after the American dream um, a lot of us were nurtured by convenience getting something quick and easy and instant and chasing after things that made life comfortable but the one thing that I realized is that comfort is the antithesis of growth and change okay it's a 100% polar opposite you cannot change you cannot progress when you're comfortable okay what I've learned is that growth and change are in the uncomfortable being uncomfortable is where you meet God it's where your faith is activated being uncomfortable and doing something anyway is the greatest protest that you can do in this life for real talk a lot of us are out marching, we're demonstrating, and all of those things are 100% necessary to spark the conversation. Um, but the real footwork actually takes place once we leave the streets. The footwork of putting ourselves in spaces that weren't designed for us and opening up our voice and saying no. And that actually requires us to come out of our respective comforts and empowering ourselves, which is solely our responsibility to have a better understanding of how these systems work, how they function so that we can infiltrate them and actually make change. Um, yesterday we did Blackout Tuesday, which I think was a, a, a beautiful movement. Although we learned that like um, that movement might have actually been lost a little bit because our voices should be heard we were actually encouraging those who were non-black to actually show a source of solidarity by doing that but what i will say is that our voices should be heard and a lot of times we specifically in my generation i would say um we're actual millennials okay period kids behind us aren't millennials so let's not okay generation z is generation z i'm an actual millennial i'm 35 years old people who are in my generation we're just now starting to gain traction in our adult life we're just now in our careers we're just now getting a better sense of ourselves and just now getting comfortable now we're getting into this place where like we have to calculate whether it's worth the risk at this point to to do certain things and i think that like sometimes we use that as an excuse to not use our voice and to not say something boldly and openly um because of what it may cost us 
in the overall. And I get that because I've, I've definitely been presented with times where I have to make that choice. But at this point, I'm, I'm resting in the uncomfortable because I know that's where God lies. Um, I just want us, I want to encourage us to use our voices and also encourage you that it is okay for you to be intentional. It's okay for you to do things on purpose. It's okay for you to empower yourself and to use your voice in every area of your life, in, in the spaces in which you, you know, you feel that nuanced racism when, when things should be unsaid, say it. Open up your mouth and say it. Say it boldly, say it loudly, and make sure that everybody can hear it. Um, because that's the only way that we can grow from this. The only way that we can make real changes is when we are all uncomfortable, then when our comforts have been challenged. And so, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do for my weekly check-in. I wanted to just encourage us to be intentional, to be purposeful, to get uncomfortable, and to empower ourselves and to use our voices. Um, how we do that uh, can be done, done a number of ways. Obviously, there are people who are out here being foot soldiers, protesting and demonstrating, but really that's the beginning of things. That's not actual the actual work that has to be done. I think that we need to learn the systems in which are oppressing us to the point that we know and empower our own voices to be able to, to know what our ask is for. Um, I'm actually working on making a compiled list of what our agenda should be as black people, what, what it is that we should be requesting from politicians, and what it is that we should be putting fire to that ass. I call it the fire to the ass. I'm sorry for my cursing, but we honestly, when we go and vote, we think that's the end of all things. And it's the exact opposite. Like once we put a candidate in, now we need to put fire to that ass to make sure that we make changes. We should not allow politicians to make decisions for us. We should make them make decisions for us. And so I am working on uh, a few things. I really would like to know what our ask is. What is it that you think that we should, which, that should be a part of our agenda? Obviously, criminal justice reform in general is definitely at the top of the list, the top of the list, how police are policing and how we should be able to police as citizens, the police. They work for us, they are civil servants, and on top of that, we pay, literally pay their salaries. They are not allowed to abuse their power. They are not allowed to inflict their biases on us through their hands, their fists, through their guns. They've been infiltrated by white supremacists, for sure. But we need to demand more of the society. We built it, and it's going to feed us now. And we need recompense, too. We definitely need recompense. That means that you need to compensate us. Not only through programs, but monetarily, and we need to be compensated for the trauma that we have endured over centuries, all for the sake of this country. Y'all tell me what y'all want. Put in the comments what you think should be on our list. I'm, I'm working on a th few things. I'm, I'm reaching out to a few friends that I know that work in the criminal justice system and I want to be the change that I want to see. So I'm empowering myself and I want to encourage you to do the same. Make sure that you use your voice. I love y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm not going to make this video too long. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Comment below what it is that you want out of this. What is the end result for you? If you don't know, ask. Be intentional. Be purposeful. Use your voice. I love y'all. Peace.